Hello everyone, this is Introvert Shy Guy, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. Or I should say welcome to Super Mario Galaxy, because, uh... No, actually welcome back. Th these are, uh, in parts and stuff, so I would basically just say it as, as well. Even though I usually would end it off with, like, not with see you all next time and stuff, because, um... It's not something I would play all the time, that's why. I, I don't really... I know this is kind of a gameplay and stuff, but it's like, in my back of my mind, I kind of treat it as not, but, you know. So anyway, today is August the 11th, and, you know, I'm about to start college soon. It's going to be on August the, 20, the 26th, and that's when I'm going to start classes. And, uh, actually I know where to go. I want to do that one challenge that I actually die on multiple times. So, I'm going to start on August the 26th. And that's when I'd basically be moving, playing gameplays and stuff at my apartment instead of at my uncle's house. And I have to say, playing at my uncle's place was actually a, a huge success in terms of, like, you know, of how things went. And, excuse me, and audio, and you know, the audio quality here is, is like, just fantastic. I mean, that's what happens when you record your games in, in the suburbs, rather in an urban city, which is kind of where I live, in my apartment, for University of Tampa, so... So yeah, it's like, it's been a real fantastic time. Only downside is that, you know, you have to wake up early and stuff, and you know, you wanna know something? I did woke up early, but I had some chores that I had to do around the house, you know, and, and everything, and right now as of playing, it's 6.32, unfortunately, so... Yeah, it's gonna be like last time where I have to, you know, like, just fucking talk as much as I can with the limited time, but, you know, so, yeah, that's the sad thing about it. So, anyway, I guess, I don't know if I could talk about this, but let me see if I can. Yeah, so, I mean, like, when I mean by talk, I mean, like, because this level's pretty hard, so that's why I'm, like, kind of concerned a little bit. There we go. Oh, I killed it. Nice. Oh, I see what they mean by choosing a favorite snack, as you choose which one you want to use. I'm gonna use this. Oh, wow, I dodged it. Anyway, so, the one thing I actually want to talk about is that... I don't know, I, I actually want to talk about something that I was kind of keeping a secret. It's not really that big of a deal, but it was something I was kind of, like, hoping to keep a surprise until, like, I were to play the game and stuff. Just, you know, so then, you know, just to keep it as a surprise. So, anyway, um, let's see if I can... Yeah, so I was just keeping something a surprise, so I thought, like, I would, um, you know, just... Okay, now I just... Shit. Come on. There we go. Okay. So, it was something I wanted to keep a surprise because I was planning on, you know, telling you guys about it. Like, you know, just sometime when I actually play the game, you know? So, it's a little something that I've been keeping under wraps. Oh, hold on. Yes. Things are going well. Oh, okay. Got it! Nice! I did it! Haha! -ha! That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, so I was actually keeping this a secret because I wanted to tell you guys it's basically like a, um, you know, I'll, I'll just basically say right now, so, you know how I said that I was planning on playing a few games, if I, I don't know if I said this before, but I was planning on playing, replaying some games, like, if I ever move to some other state, you know, by the time I, I do my postgraduate studies, well, if I talk to you guys about it, like, you know, now, instead of just waiting, because, thing is though, during these times, we're in, this is unpredictable, uh, like, this is an unpredictable time at the moment, so I really don't know what my future is going to be like when things move forward, so because of this, I want to, like, say what I want to talk about 
in this gameplay rather than just keeping it under wraps until said thing happens, which I don't know. I mean, I hope it does happen, but things like are are very unpredictable, especially with the COVID-19 situation. So, um, so yeah, and it's kind of similar to, you know, how I talked about like unfortunate circumstances, like when getting my degree, like you know, back in Raymond 2. I talked about it like that because I wasn't doing so well in my classes. So hence, I wanted to t talk about a few things that was on my mind before the unfortunate inevitable thing happens like when I withdraw all the classes and it showed that I was having difficulty in you know one of my classes or all of my classes I would say and thing is and I want to point out that academically I'm doing great like everything is going just as just as planned and everything I'm doing very well I've already done very well in my summer class so yeah everything's going well actually but I just wanted to Mm, excuse me, I just wanted to talk about it just so then I could just, you know, get it out of mind and stuff, put it on the video. And if, say, this unfortunate, some unfortunate thing happens, like, you know, because of, like, the coronavirus or whatever happens in the future, maybe the president, also what happens during the presidency, be it a uh, Trump or Biden uh, presidency in 2020, you know. That kind of thing, you know, like, a lot of unknowns, like, are happening right now, so it's like, I just want to, you know, put everything out of mind, like, in case of this unfortunate, like, say, and also maybe a great example with the coronavirus situation, with, what if one of my grandparents catches the coronavirus and they would die and stuff, that would be, like, an extremely, like, horrific situation that would happen, and therefore I want to... Because I, I really don't know what would happen, like, to me mentally, like, if something like this would happen, you know, so that, so all in all, I just want to put all my thoughts into this, not all, actually not all my thoughts, but what my, my, my potential, like, you know, game and, like, thing that I want to play, like, when I move out of this state for postgraduate studies, like, just so then you guys would know in case if this unfortunate thing happens. But at the very least, I said what I said, you know? It's also kind of similar to what I said, you know, when I was talking in Warrior World about doing a Draw My Life or, you know, what video I would make to celebrate my graduation to getting an electrical engineering degree, you know, that kind of thing. So it's kind of similar to that, you know? So, yeah. So all in all, instead of me rambling, I'm not going to say what I, what I want to say anyway. So what I was planning to do is when I moved to some other state, is that I wanted to replay the game Persona 3 because it's a game that I actually really really like and stuff and also very convenient that I'm talking about it right now because uh, this year is the kind of... well I wouldn't say this year but at this time especially since it's kind of like the almost the sorta anniversary of me playing Persona 3 because I played that game during the 2016 presidential election so it was like four years ago so and I'm now talking about it in the 2020 presidential election and then Persona 3 was one of the uh, sil the silver stars of Seaslide. Persona 3 was like one of the best things that I've ever played during the presidential election it's one of the most memorable too you know so I mean, yeah, I loved playing Persona 3. It was one of the few things. It was one of the few things that made me really happy during these, d during this depress, during during that depressing election, you know, with Hillary Clinton versus Donald Trump. At that time, I was rooting for Trump because I knew if Hillary Clinton were to win the presidency, then World War III would have been 100% cert certain. And also the inevitable war. It's it, the inevitable, uh, inevitable attack on Syria, so that kind of thing. Yeah, so it's one of those things, you know? And now I'm talking about it, I'm talking about Persona 3 during the 2020 election. Other than that, I'm not as depressed as I was during the 2016 election. Now bear in mind, I mean, when I say depressed, I'm not saying that I was like as depressed as I was in 2015. No, I was just a little depressed, but I was still able to move forward because academically I was still doing well and stuff and there was this one small hope that somehow Trump would win the election and stuff even though 
like back in the summer, like and even in August, I actually literally thought deep down that Hillary Clinton was going to win the presidency. But I thought some like some miracle would happen that maybe Trump would win it. But it was at that time I thought it was like 95% Hillary Clinton was gonna win and 5% Trump was gonna win. I was just bracing myself for a Hillary Clinton presidency. But then all things started to change during September when I saw some of the polling saying that Trump was not too far, not too far from Hillary Clinton and all the mess ups that she was doing, like calling half of the Trump supporters deplorables and, um, there you go, uh, and the, uh, sickness and fainting on 9-11 and stuff, those things. And when those things happened, that's when I started to have this feeling that Hillary Clinton can lose the election. And that's what kind of made me, like, get my, get my hopes up. Of course, then the Access Hollywood tape happened and it dampened, you know, my enthusiasm a bit. But of course, then after the second debate, Trump came right back up. Oh yeah, and also added before the, that debate, when I talked to those unintentionally, well, actually intentionally in a way, that was my fault, uh, when talked to those two old ladies about the presidential election, they told me that they were enthusiastic Hillary supporters. Go watch my video of me meeting Hillary voters, it, it explains everything. But yeah, that was a huge fuck up. But now I know that in this presidential election, I shouldn't be sitting next to a TV that was that is playing the news. Or anyone else at that matter, because of something like that happening. So yeah, gotta be extra careful this time. Anyway, I know this is kind of, what I'm doing now, I'm just completely off topic, just talking about the presidency and stuff, but... I don't know, it's related to Persona 3. Talking about it because, uh, like I said, or, you know, I played it during the 2016 election, this is the 2020 election, so it's some, kind of similar to what I'm doing, you know? Or what I'm talking about. What is this? Oh, I, I get it. Okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so then there, so, I played Persona 3, and it was one of the few things I very much enjoyed. Now, the thing is, though, is that I want, I really want to play that game, Persona 3, again, but also, but as a gameplay, but I want to keep it, keep it in the locks, just until I, uh, move out of state, and I play this game during my postgraduate studies. And the reason why, because like I said, it's just something, it's a gameplay I want to do, it's a gameplay I really want to record and stuff. And another thing why I want to play it again is because, believe it or not, I haven't... I did one of the um, dating kind of things in the game, but I never done it with the main female characters, you know? The, although the one that I actually did do, um, she was actually she was actually pretty good. And she also made a cameo in Persona 4, although I'm not really sure if that says for everyone, what if that cameo only happened because, um, like, you know, I played the game on PlayStation 2, and then I bought the game Persona 4, maybe I read my memory card, and then it decided to ha do this little cameo because, you know, she was my, uh, waifu that I've done. And if you want, if, if you guys are wondering, I forgot her name, but it's that girl that had a extreme phobia against men, and, uh, but then I, I kind of cured that by becoming her boyfriend, and like, I, I helped her out and stuff, and she basically then became my, uh, my waifu, I would say. It's that girl with the glasses and stuff. Yeah, I forgot her name. It's, it's the one with the phobia, uh, it, that, that's very phobic uh, from men and stuff, so it's that, it's that girl. Um, I did her, uh, she was my first waifu, and, um, she was really good, and, but I then found out that apparently you can um, date one of the main female characters, and I had no idea that was possible. I thought, I thought you only you can only do it with the uh, background characters. I didn't know you could do it with the main female characters, you know. So I thought it was just a huge missed opportunity. But nonetheless, like I said, that because I didn't know that, I then did her. I knew this game kind of had like it was kind of a, a little bit like a visual novel, so it was kind of almost like a dating simulator in a way, but not entirely. So, I 
when I was choosing, I basically just chose her because I thought she was the only one that was, you know, that kind of like. But had I known that you can date one of the main female characters, then yeah, I would have done like one of them. Kind of like what I did, because I did that, I did it with both Persona 4 and Persona 5. So after Persona 3, then I knew, I knew that, oh, okay, you can date the main female characters, so... So I was able to... Oh, wow, look at that. So, I mean, I was able to, you know, uh, date one of the main female characters. Anyway, so... Yeah, so if you guys are wondering which female character that... I, which waifu that I wanted to date in Persona 3, it's actually Fuka. And I actually, like, you know, I, I, really, lo I really love her, honestly. Like, she... I think she's probably my top favorite persona like waifu i would say although bear in mind i haven't done any of her social link so that, hence that's why i didn't know that you can like you know uh date any of the main girls because i didn't know you can do any of the social links i thought it was something you can't do so yeah um i didn't know you could date one of the main female characters so anyway so yeah she's basically fuka is one of my you know Fa like favorite type of like waifu that I wanted to date, but I didn't know you could. And oh, what is this? Can I talk to this guy? There's all kinds of hubbub in Sea Slide. What's going on? And um, hmm, excuse me. And um, I didn't know like yeah, I didn't know you could date one of the female girls. And there also there another thing was that when I first played Persona Three. I didn't know how you how you do with upgrading like your type of traits and stuff. You know, I knew about upgrading intelligence because that was easy to do because all you do you just study and stuff and do well on the exams and everything and also answer questions in class that raises your intelligence. I was able to do that, but out of other things like say charm or strength or something. I mean, I like like charm for an example. I didn't know how to do it. You know, because like I said, the Persona 3 was my first, very first Persona game, so I didn't know anything about this whole thing. So therefore, I was only able to upgrade on intelligence, and that's about it. And because of that, some of the girls that you have to date, that the main girls that you, if you want to date, you have to upgrade on some of these things. And because I didn't upgrade on any of them, that basically meant that I couldn't go on a date with either Fuka or even Yukari or. Itsuru and stuff. Also, by the way, Yukari, she's like my second favorite. Like, uh, like a very close second. But I still like food. How do you... This camera is so bad, I can't really tell, like, you know, how to jump on this cloud. I think like this? Oh, okay. Off! Oh. I mean, at least I'm talking. That's all that matters. As long as I can talk, that's, that's okay. Eh, oh, what? Oh, I forgot. You have to be a bee in order to stand on the cloud. Okay, my bad. <laughs> be a B Mario. So that means I gotta go get the B thing. Anyway, so anyway, um, so yeah, so I wasn't able to do, I didn't know how to upgrade and stuff. That's, that's when, and because of that, I wasn't able to date any of the main Persona 3 girls. Although, I don't know if that's true. I heard, I was reading on 4chan and they said something that, oh, you can only date Fuka if you, um, do that one guy like if you talk to him once and then it, uh, uh, and, and then it unlocks the uh, you know the fit, the dating Fuka and stuff or doing the social link with Fuka and yeah you can only do it um, if you talk to that art guy that's basically who he is but I don't know if that's true I mean leave it in the comments if it is but that's what I got from 4chan but I think you had to upgrade your uh, Whatever thing, and also, and another thing is that did I actually did I talk? No, yeah, I did. I did talk, or no, I think you have to, you have to talk. No, I never talked to Fuka like in the school and stuff. I only talked to her in uh, that little like dorm area. I don't think you can do upgrades and stuff like you can improve social links with the main characters in the dorm area. I think you can only do that during school. Yeah, because you could you only do social links during the day. You can't do it during the night. So yeah, that makes sense. 
I never, I never spoken to Fuka like you know in the game um, during the day. I only spoken to her at night, so therefore I wasn't able to to know about the social link. So, so it's either because I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't talk to her because of upgrading, or because I mainly probably just never talked to her in the day to begin with. So, all in all, I'm, what I'm trying to say is, is that I was never able to. Oh fuck! I was never able to um, like upgrade you know any of the social links with the uh, main female characters because I just didn't know you could and I didn't know that you could only do it during the day I thought you know I just never tried it but also mean it's, it's also because I couldn't up I didn't upgrade any of my trades so therefore I couldn't do it yeah but though the difference the main difference between persona 3 and the other persona games is that you didn't really you don't really have to do their, their social links because their persona is automatically upgraded, it automatically strength, strengthens later in the game, so you didn't really, you don't really have to do it. Then, but, of course they changed that completely during Persona 4 and 5, where you, the only way to upgrade and strengthen their personas is if you do their social links. If you don't do their social links, then they never upgrade. So, yeah. So basically what it comes down to, I have played and finished Persona 3, but I have never ever dated any of the main female characters and frankly they're the best kind of girls in the entire game like they're far better than that one girl that I dated you know that girl that was my uh, first wife who I mean I liked her but I guess I, I like her as a character but now that I think about it as a romance option she's you know she's kind of bland in a way and I think and honestly it kind of was I, I mean I did enjoy it but you know Compare, I'm pretty sure if I dated the main girls, it would have been a far better experience. So what it comes down to is that, even though I finished Persona 3, because I've never dated any of the main female girls, uh, therefore this whole concept of me dating the main female characters is now completely foreign. Like, I don't, I don't really, it's like completely new to me, I mean. So because of that, if say if I were ever to replay Persona 3, that would be the very first new experience uh, for me to do because I've never done it before. I'm very sorry if I'm just wandering around. It's not, it's not because I'm talking, it's just that I'm trying to figure out where to go. Like, I mean, I know I've been falling down stuff because of the bee thing, but, you know, that's okay. It's giving me enough time to talk and stuff, so... Anyway, so yeah, so that's the only thing that I've never done in Persona 3, and I'm really hoping that sometime in my life, I'd be able to play Persona 3 again during my postgraduate studies and actually literally experience what it'd be like, you know, dating Fuka because she is my number one, like, waifu in Persona 3 and maybe even in the entire series. Although, of course, maybe things would change if I actually did their social links, so it all depends. But my first, right now, my number one is Fuka, my close second is, uh, Yukari. And it's only like that because based on how they are during the main game, but not through their social links, because I have no idea what they are, you know, if I've ever done, done it, you know? So yeah, there's that. And I'm hoping at some point I'll be able to replay Persona 3 again. I mean, I know you guys could just say that, why can't I just play the game now? I mean, like, I'm doing gameplays and stuff, just play Persona 3, like, and, and just do it. But honestly, I'd rather... Uh, Come on, man. Jesus. Oh, there we go. Let's try something. Anyway, so that's that's basically how, how, it's, how it's going to go. I'm just hoping if things go well in my life, then maybe I can replay Persona 3. Because if not, if things do go really bad in my life, then it would just be a huge mystery. I, I wouldn't really know. I would never know how dating Fuka would be like. It'd be kind of similar to, you know, how Etika in his unfortunate, like, suicide video post where he said you never know how Attack on Titan finishes. I mean, that really, you know, kind of broke me a little bit, like, hearing that. Not, not just, I mean, obviously not just because of the Attack on Titan thing, but also him taking his own life, you know. It was a very unfortunate thing that happened, but it's like the fact that... Oh shit, I, not, I did not see that guy. It's like the fact that... Like, this one thing that you are a huge fan of, and that you'd never be able to finish it, so then it becomes a complete mystery to you, like, forever. It, it, it's kind of... 
it's kind of soul crushing in a way. I mean, I know it, it's like I'm just talking about like an anime and stuff, and this is just entertainment. And it has nothing to do with like meaningful stuff in life and stuff. But I mean, still, you know, it's like it's one of those things where you know, it's like because Etika. You know, he's also well known for being a huge fan of Attack on Titan, and, you know, it's kind of his thing, like, besides N Nintendo, in a way, you know? So, yeah, I mean, and I, and I also love Attack on Titan, and the fact that he's not going to be able to know how it ends is... It is kind of sad in a way, that's why I'm looking forward to watching... Hold on. Excuse me, to watching Attack on Titan Season 4 and finishing it. Because not only will I know how this anime ends, but it's like me finishing the anime like for Etika in a way. So, well, so that's basically that thing that kind of happened to Etika and how he expressed it is kind of very similar to how I feel when I am looking forward to something, especially like say dating, you know, Fuka in Persona 3, knowing how what what it's like and stuff and how good it is, you know. So that's what I'm saying and. I really hope that time does come and, you know, I'll be able to at least do it, you know, before something very unfortunate happens to me in life, you know? So, that's, that's what I'm saying and that's what I'm hoping and I really hope, you know, things go well, especially with the whole coronavirus, the 2020 presidential election, although, I mean, you know, not a, I'm not as depressed as I was in 2016, but there is, like, there is one concern that I do have that might get really ugly, and I will be talking about that sometime, maybe in this video or later, it depends. But yeah, there is something in the back of my head that may happen that I hope doesn't become, you know, too destructive in a way, or too disastrous. And it's not, and it does not have to do anything like, well, I mean, eh, maybe it kind of does, but it's mainly on Trump than Biden, in a way, so... Um... So I'm just trying to figure out where the last star is. I don't know if it's anywhere. Oh. Okay, you know what? I was just wondering if I maybe missed something here, but I'm not sure. I think it has to be somewhere underwater. Because I never, that's the one area I never checked. So, yeah, so, um, that's what I'm hoping, and I hope I'm able to, to do Persona 3 and literally date Fuka. So, there you go, that's my waifu for Persona 3. And you know what, while I'm at it, maybe I'll say the other waifus in the other Persona games. Persona 4, I have dated one, and she's my first choice, although, uh, yeah, I mean, she is my first choice, but I haven't seen the, uh, this other girl. Uh, I, I have... A dated uh, Yukiko from Persona 4, but I never done uh, Risei that much because I never knew when, what time she was or where she was. But of course now I know where she is, but unfortunately when I knew where she was, the game was almost over and I wasn't able to, you know, do her. And also she kind of comes in very late at the game, so I literally did not have time to do her social link. And bear in mind, I also didn't know much about if you had a persona that fits their persona, this type, this type of persona, upgrading their social link is much faster compared to if you don't have it. So I didn't know anything about that, and but now I do. So obviously next time if I play Persona, uh, Persona 3, uh, and Persona 4 and Persona 5, I know about this, and I'll be able to, you know, uh, do the, uh, social link upgrade, so, yeah, my first waifu in Persona 4 was Yuko uh, Yukiko, I haven't done Risei that much, maybe it could be Risei, Risei is a close second, but I also kind of really liked, uh, Yukiko, you know, so, yeah, she was my first, and in Persona 5, my my first was uh, Futaba. My close second would be Haru, but of course Haru had very minimal screen time, so therefore it was kind of hard for me to to have to choose her and stuff. So I went with Futaba because you know I mean I kind of liked her. She also kind of matches me in a way and stuff. I mean compared to the other girls and stuff. I like Makoto, but I feel like our personalities would probably clash and we just wouldn't mesh well. And. Um, 
and on. Uh, she was actually very nice, but... You know, funny thing is, she's not really my type, and, and funny enough. I mean, I did say I'm not too fond of the 10 out of, out of 10 supermodels, so... Yeah, there's that, you know. That's, an, uh, that's another reason why she's not my, uh, top pick. Hold on, maybe if there's... Output, is that the one with the cannon? Oh, wait! Uh, maybe it's something on top of this? Hold on, let's check. <gasps> oh, wait! I haven't checked that chest. Okay, so yeah, uh, so, yeah, well, what was I, oh fuck, why can't I, wait, am I not allowed to have a shell? Oh, because of the B, alright, fine. Anyway, so yeah, so, um, yeah, so I'm just not too fond of, of On and stuff, I mean, she's a great character, but, I don't think she's not really my waifu in a way, because she's not really my type, but yeah, so there you go. So yeah, that is my, uh, that's all my persona waifus, you know, it's, I was trying to keep it a secret till much later, but then again, like I said, in life you never know what might happen, so I might as well just put everything out here, because it's mainly I'm doing all this because of the coronavirus, that's basically why I'm putting everything out there, because I have no idea how things are going to turn out, I mean, like, the George Floyd pr protests and how violent they became, they became, also because of the police and everything. Um, that's also another reason, like, things are going- are being- are really hectic at the moment, so that's why I'm, you know, just saying everything out there, you know? <coughs> yeah, so... That's basically the one. Where is it? Huh. Imagine if I don't finish this game and that, because I couldn't find it, but, you know... No, not finish this game, finish this level. I'm gonna try to, but... Should I? Is it up top here? I don't know if I can go up. Let's see. Hold on. So, yeah. That's basically what I'm... What I've been, what I had on my mind that I want to just share with you guys. So I guess there you go. I hope I've I've said everything. Right now it's 7:02, so I mean I guess I'll finish my last part. I mean about politics and everything. I'm pretty sure at today Joe Biden has chosen a running mate. The reason how I knew because uh, when I checked my phone, I, I don't really check on the news that much, but I want to keep things a surprise when he says a. When, if Joe Biden chose a running mate, because I want to make this video before not knowing he chose a running mate, like, so I could say everything not knowing, you know? Um, but it said on that thing, the news thing, Joe Biden picks, I didn't read anything, but I'm pretty sure he's chosen a running mate as of right now. Although, I don't know, maybe he hasn't. I'd be surprised though, maybe. Maybe he chose a White House, um, I don't know what you call it, uh, you know Hillary Clinton, like, like she chose Ken Salazar to be a, like, some White House organizer or something, like, oh, oh I know, I know, White House transition, to, tr tr uh, a, right ho a White House, tr uh, to be, someone to be head of the White House transition team. Ken Salazar was chosen to be the White House transition team if, if Hillary Clinton won the election, but she didn't win, thank, oh, like, thank God she didn't win, but, you know, so, it's something like that, I don't know if maybe Biden, he either chose a running mate, or he chose someone to be head of the White, of the White House transition team, so it could either, either be those, but I'm pretty sure he's chosen a running mate by now, so, it's, it could be, like, you know, someone, I'm hoping it, it's someone besides, uh, Kamala Harris, or Susan Rice, I mean, I remember before I was kind of, I was hoping it wouldn't be Gretchen Whitmer, but uh, then she took herself out. Now she took herself back in, but you know what? If it was a choice between Gretchen Whitmer, Kamala Harris, or Susan Rice, fuck, I'd, I'd probably just choose Gretchen Whitmer. I know this would increase Biden's chance of being elected because it would help her carry Michigan and stuff, and it'd be kind of nerve-wracking because of her lockdown stuff that she's done in the state, but then again, like... I really fucking hate uh, Kamala Harris, and also I really don't like Susan Rice because I'm afraid she might be a Dick Cheney and stuff, so fuck yeah, if I have to choose, fine, like Gretchen Whitmer, you know, compared to Kamala Harris or Susan Rice. 
I don't know if it is gonna. I don't know if it is Gretchen Whitmer. I doubt it. But then again, she like immediately went back to Biden in terms of the vice presidency thing. So I don't know if she changed her mind or if Biden actually chose her at the last minute. So who knows? But yeah, but if it is Gretchen Whitmer, eh, it'd be unfortunate. But you know what? At least, at least it's not fucking Kamala Harris. And therefore, that video I made about oh Kamala Harris not like we knocked out by Tulsi, it's gonna age like milk if. She was actually chosen to be vice president. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I hope, but... I will definitely check it once I'm done with this gameplay, because... I'm gonna know sooner or later, mom... <clears throat> My mom and dad are probably gonna mention... Are probably gonna mention it. I just realized I was gonna call, call my mom mama. Then, and I was about to, oh, I need to censor, but then I realized I already mentioned it to you guys I call her mama, so yeah, you know, okay. But I call her mom for you guys, you know, so you know, like my mom or dad would just mention it to me or, or, or something like that, so it, it, it's inevitable, I'm pretty sure, you know, someone is going to mention it to me. Fuck, where is it? I have not explored thoroughly that, like, thing over there, so maybe, uh... I have to go back, because I mean, I'm looking for you. Wait, wait. Oh, shit. I thought there was a- was there a- Wait, wait. I thought that saw a bubble, like... Come on, come on. Fuck. Fuck. I thought I saw something like that. Oh, that palm tree. Hold on. Shit. Okay, it's nothing. 707. Fuck. I'm gonna keep on playing. Yeah, so, um, if the one thing I'm also afraid of during the 2020 election, like the Trump presidency, is that if, say, Trump were to lose the presidency, what if he declared the election invalid or, like, he delays it so then the electoral, so then it would go to the House of Representatives because they wouldn't choose the Electoral College and stuff, and then it would make him the president again? If there's that huge of a rigging by him, then that would, that would create massive riots and stuff, and that's another thing I'm kind of concerned about from a Trump presidency, and he could probably do that, but he might not, who knows, like, he could just see the writing on the wall and he wouldn't do something like that, and he wouldn't, like, embarrass himself further, so he could be like, okay, I give up, you know, like, and, and stuff, so who knows what would ha what will happen, or also the Republicans may urge him not to, or they might not, might not follow through with it, so, you know, um, it wouldn't be too disastrous, but we don't know, like, that's, that's what I'm just worried about, and I hope it doesn't happen. That may happen, but I don't know. The kinds of Trump were to win the election. Anyway, I want to get a drink, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Alright, let's see if I can fucking finish this thing, because it's been a long time and I haven't found anything yet. I'm just wondering, is there something up here? But I can't get a up there. <gasps> there it is! There it is, I found it, I found it. Fuck. No, no, no! Jeez, jeez, fuck, come on! No, fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> right when I found it, this happens to me. Oh, I have to start all over. Fuck. Wow! What a way to end it because that shit happens. Fuck, it's gonna take too long. I'm not doing this again. I'm sorry, guys. I can't believe this happened to me. Fuck. I'm pissed. But then again, I'd rather... I'd rather stop. Oh well. I'll probably then I'll just fucking do it again, you know. And then this would be another gameplay video I could do. So yeah, that's what I'm worried about. I mean, honestly, another thing I want to mention is that the state of the race and stuff. I still feel like Trump would probably win, although his odds have decreased much like lower than than it was all the way back before the coronavirus thing happened you know like before i was 100 percent cer certain he would win but after what's going on i'd say he still has a chance but excuse me it's not as big as it, as it is before you know but like i said anything can happen you know i, I mean people thought hillary clinton was gonna win look what happened and also in my neighborhood there's still a lot of trump enthusiasm and there's only very, very little Biden signs. Slightly more than Hillary. I mean, where I live, like, there was only one Hillary sign. Where I live, there was, like, three Biden signs, but that's still low compared to how many Trump supporters there are. And 
I mean, obviously what's going to happen is Biden is going to win the popular vote much larger than before, but I still think Trump would probably pull it off. But like I said, anything can happen. And Because the reason why I still say Trump could still win is because the one thing that, like, ha that Trump has that's kind of a major factor in other presidential elections, including 2012 and 2008, is the enthusiasm. Trump still has a huge enthusiasm compared to Biden. And he's also the incumbent, so both like help out uh, like a lot. So I, that's what makes me still think he could still win. But then again, maybe you know, uh, there's probably a whole lot of silent uh, Biden voters, so that's also a possibility. So anything could still happen. The one thing I'll just like to mention is that I just really hope that there will be debates because even if Trump is guaranteed to lose, to lose, please let there be debates because I so want to watch because it's so funny and stuff and plus if it is gonna be trump's last presidency and stuff at the very least give give me three debates of him so then we can have all the luscious memes and stuff to like you know laugh at and stuff this is one last time before he leaves office so it'd be like the final you know the final trump comedy stuff that will come out of this you know and then when he loses then he'll lose and then that's it but we could still look at those debates like very fondly and stuff, so I'm hoping that happens, but who knows, it might not happen, or it may, or probably will happen, but it be digital debates. I don't want digital debates, I want the live debate. At the very least, have just one moderator and Biden and Trump six feet apart, and only a few camera people that, that, that are social distance from one another, and that's it. There'd be just, and just no crowds. We don't really need crowds, even though it was pretty funny with 2016 when he said because you'd be in jail and the, tra and the crowd cheered and stuff that was still pretty funny but honestly with the virus happening there's not going to be a crowd unfortunately but then again eh, i'd rather take no crowd than no debates so or no live debate and just digital debates so that's what i'm hoping i really hope there would be a live debate i know Biden said he agrees to but thing is though he could say he wants to but in the back of his mind he wouldn't want to and he just have the universities like not do it and they could just make a valid excuse saying oh we're not going to do the debates because of the coronavirus and people will not complain about it and then it would happen like that and then it would just be digital debate you know that kind of thing so that's what i'm hoping like i'm hoping it's just a live debate but it could not be or there could be no debates like that'd be very rare but then again it has happened i would say two times as from what i researched like one in poland like like, the incumbent only appeared in one debate with multiple candidates, but then when he was just one bursting that one mayor of Warsaw, he never showed up, he, he never showed up to any of the debates. Like, there's one debate that was sponsored by, by the mayor's team, and, and the incumbent president didn't show up, and then there was one sponsored by, by the incumbent president, and the mayor didn't show up. So there was literally no debate between these two. And that was the first time in Polish history that happened, but even then, the incumbent president, Andrzej Duda, still won the election. And then there's also the Russian presidential election, but then again, it's Russia. You know, what do you expect? <laughs> Putin didn't show up for any of the debates, and he still won the election. So yeah, I mean, having no debates, it, it can happen, you know? I don't think, like, Biden's definitely going to do it. He could choose not to, and it would be perfectly fine. But I'm hoping there will be a debate, so, you know, because like I said, if Trump is guaranteed to lose and it's and he would, and if he was going to lose, then at the very least, please just give me the debate. Like, just one, just one last funny stuff, you know, that make me really happy and stuff. And also the hope that maybe Biden will lose and stuff, which I'm also hoping, but like I said, you know, anything, anything could happen. But then again, at least it's not Hillary Clinton. That's all I'd leave it off. Alright, you know what, I'm gonna end it off here. I've said everything I wanted to say, maybe it's not perfect, but I think it turned out pretty good. Other than not completing the level, even though I found the thing, but yeah, it happens. I'll do that thing again later, so, you know. So yeah, I, uh, about the N64 thing, I still haven't, I mean, I now know the issue, and apparently I need like some additional accessory that I need to order on Amazon, so... I'm probably gonna have to postpone Paper Mario and probably just play something else. So, could either be Billy Hatcher or some other game. I don't know. So, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next gameplay series. Alright, bye everyone.